Oh my god, this is sweet. Oh, this one has a hairstyle. Hold up. Does he wear boxers or is he naked? Okay, he's naked. But let's take flight, baby. Hey yo everyone, welcome to a Terraria Team Mod Loader video. We're back in Team Mod Loader. And today we are checking out a mod. Keep it daytime. I like it when it's daytime. We're checking out a mod that adds in races to Terraria. And the mod is called Mr. Plague's Authentic Races. Let's go ahead, let's read about it first before we hop in. The description says, Mr. Plague's Authentic Races aims to add playable races in a similar fashion to Starbound or Dungeons and Dragons. Each race directly changes the player's appearance and stats, editing the player's sprites themselves rather than just adding a costume onto them. This allows you to retain the ability to see your equipped armor and change the color values of the player, eyes, hairs, etc. while also gaining an entirely different appearance so the races included are humans of course goblins of course kenkus don't know what that is tabaxis don't know what that is dragonkin i would assume our dragon merfolk we know what that is mushfolk we know what that is dirtkin don't know kobold we kind of know skeletons of course vampires sure yeah why not Miss changes, remove the fused on clothing that is applied to the player by default. The player is instead equipped with familiar clothing which can be removed. Does that mean your character spawns naked then? I don't know, I guess we'll see. Upon spawning in for the first time, the player will get a race specific lore item. Okay, that sounds dope. If the player is a merfolk, they will additionally gain an emergency water pool generator in the event the world has no lakes within their immediate spawn area. Very, very nice attention to detail there. Additional content, if Ancients Awaken is installed, all muchfolk characters will gain a potion that can permanently transform them into Ancients Awakened Mushman NPC. Interesting. And then here are all the credits. Mr. Plague, Alpha Kip, Redstone Bro. Shout out to all of them. Let's go ahead and check the mod out. But first, a quick word from our sponsor. The year is 2020. We have replaced our giant flip phones with slim and advanced smartphones. But for some reason, we still carry around giant pieces of leather filled with garbage in our pockets. Why carry that around when you can carry the Ridge Wallet? It's light, sleek, and industrial. Plus, it doesn't have to fold or awkwardly bulge out of your pockets. The Ridge Wallet holds up to 12 cards plus room for cash. There's over 30 styles and colors including carbon fiber and my personal favorite burnt titanium. Each wallet comes with a lifetime warranty thanks to the durable material it's made out of, meaning you could buy one wallet and carry it your whole life. The team behind Ridge Wallets is so confident that you'll like it that they'll let you test drive it for 45 days. You can send it back for a full refund if you don't love it. If all of that wasn't enough to win you over, check out the 30,000 plus 5 star reviews. So what are y'all waiting for? Get 10% off today with free worldwide shipping returns turns by going to ridge.com slash raiders and use code raiders the link will be in the description and comment section below back to the video all right let's see here we're gonna make a new character as you can see i was talking about our characters being naked i was just joking but look at all our characters from other worlds and other mod packs they are all naked or they're wearing boxers or whatever but they are all naked except for claude and i guess bubo because well he's half serpent but let's see what happens if we make a new character oh my god this is sweet this is sweet i've been waiting for a mod like this i know there's been mods in the past like the mod developer said that adds in pretty much just clothes and you have to pretend that you're different but having a mod that actually changes a bunch of stuff that that's dope because look we get special abilities and stuff which is amazing so let's go ahead let's go through everyone here the humans no stat changes of course fuck humans and as we look at the goblin which i'm assuming might be a summoner character because look at that we get plus one minions plus one turrets 10 percent movement speed 10 percent placement speed 10 percent mining speed minus 20 percent health and minus 10 percent damage okay not bad the minus 10 percent damage might be kind of okay now the, the negatives the, they're pretty damn negative those kind of suck but i guess this would be a summoner choice i don't know maybe there's another character that has better options for summoner but let's see the the kenku here which is like a crow person 15 percent damage 10% crit chance can fly okay that's a little strong 25% movement speed 50% flight time minus 25% health and minus 8 defense makes sense honestly those negatives kind of make up for the ability to fly when it comes to the negatives here you're only getting an extra minion and an extra turret eh, I don't know man if you don't have a monetary mod that adds in more summons and turrets at the beginning then uh kind of gonna get screwed playing as a goblin next up we got the tabaxi I don't know this looks like a bull character snake character 
not a snake i don't know dinosaur 40 percent movement speed 35 percent jump speed 25 percent placing speed 25 percent mining speed minus four defense minus 10 percent damage so they feel like a fast-paced character or class next up dragon king so this is pretty much our argonians 20 percent health four defense plus 10 percent melee damage plus two seconds of lava immunity makes sense honestly it honestly should be longer a little bit longer i don't know maybe just fire immunity minus 10 percent jump speed minus 10 percent placing speed and minus 10 percent mining speed got it next up the merfolk plus 25 percent damage when wet can breathe in water plus 25 percent placement speed plus 10 percent mining speed can't breathe in air except during rain nice detail next up the mush folk you know the people that i would probably play as plus 10 percent health plus two minions plus 10 percent movement speed all nearby allies are healed by you that's pretty cool minus 15 percent damage of course there has to be a negative that just like kind of outweighs the whole entire class i don't know if plus two minions kind of equals 15 percent damage i don't know whatever i guess next up we got the derpkin oh okay so these are the derplings but you know bug people uh, honestly i think i would have preferred beetle people but i guess we'll take the derpling people 10 percent damage plus 25 percent movement speed plus 60 percent jump speed of course can auto jump minus 20 percent health and minus four defense next up we got the kobold plus five percent non-melee damage plus five percent movement speed press racial ability to see ores okay that's pretty damn good plus 60 percent mining speed minus 10 percent health minus four defense minus 10 percent melee damage becomes weak in sunlight next up we got the skeleton plus 20 percent magic damage plus 15 percent movement speed plus 50 mana can breathe on water immune to bleeding suffocation and poison minus 25 percent health and minus four defense honestly not that bad especially if you want to be a mage not that bad at all and last but not least the vampire aka the edgy human press racial ability to become a bat that's pretty damn cool plus five percent movement speed up plus ten percent mining speed increase heart pickup range that's pretty good too burns in sunlight cannot use items as a bat so i think the positives here outweigh the negatives for surely for the bat other than the sunlight thing that might be hard to deal with i don't know i just become a cave person so let's see all these characters in game here this is gonna be fun creating how many characters like 10 let's do it let's start with the goblin of course uh, oh we actually get to modify it a little bit here okay hair color i don't think there's hairs okay so maybe not what about skin color okay so we can modify skin color that's, that's good you know goblins are usually green right so let's, let's make them let's make them greenish uh what about clothes do we get anything for clothes oh we do get things for clothes okay don't know if they appear in game though that's the thing and uh we get to see a female variant if you can tell i don't know i can barely tell but other than that i think that's really all you can modify uh i was uh, honestly interested to see the hair maybe in the future let's go ahead let's give them a name here not gonna think too hard for the name just just name them goblin it's gonna be a little hard to come up with a bunch of creative names for every character we are in the world what special item do we get here racial stat toggling potion no that's not it racial lore goblins so this tells us all our stats and it also says the goblins of this world travel in massive colonies taking over entire continents for their sheer numbers while their volatile nature may make them seem brutish and dumb goblins have been proven to be quite intelligent you know what goblin isn't intelligent the goblin tinkerer because he breaks everything i give him so if you don't want to play with the racial stats you can use this which is honestly pretty cool if you just want to play as the race but don't want to have all the like debuffs and stuff but what's the point of that come on so when's it what, what happens if i take all my clothes off oh yeah we got the goblin in his boxers okay i see him now my question is before we uh look at all the other characters oh here we go we can see all the items that the mod adds in and a bunch of it is lore um here's the mushman tonic for the ancients awaken if you have ancients awaken installed and then you get the emergency water generator all right pretty cool i guess let's see what armor looks like on the character now i'm assuming only vanilla armor works so let's see a couple of vanilla sets here okay i thought it was gonna have like a different shape no it looks fairly the same there's no way i put on like a necro set and look the same okay i do <laughs> you tell me that big ass nose fits in here i don't know about that i mean it may be asking a lot to add in you know a new sprite for each race but like at the same time is it oh shit look we get the new hollowed armor but since that isn't a feature i guess i don't know there's not gonna be much we're checking out of checking out because i really thought that this was gonna be a, a feature it was a bunch of armor sets modified to fit on your character but i guess not i guess not let me just let me just try a couple more just in case nope all right moving on to the next race so let's see the uh skin color here for the the, the kek 
Kek Nu. So you can change the skin color for all of them, which is actually, that's that's pretty good. I thought there was going to be a limitation for some of them. I don't know. I'm not seeing cool colors. Honestly, like the default color that the Kek Nu had was pretty good. So let's go with that. Kek. Is that what the, Maybe I'm saying the name wrong. Back in the same world. It's Kek Nu, right? Kenku. Fuck. Whatever, I was close enough. The Kenku are an incredible secretive race with most of their nature still unknown. They possess very weak flight as well as disturbingly fast reflexes. Both skills combine to make them incredibly talented assassins and escape artists. Kenku do not seem to be native to any known environment with some questioning if they even originated from this planet. Let's see the flight in action. Natural flight, take off our clothes. Oh god, we're just straight up naked on this one. Let's see the natural flight. Wow, I like it. I like it. It's a nice little thing to have when you're playing as the bird race. You better be able to fly. All right, next up, we got the, the dinosaur looking one, Tabaxis. Uh, I don't know. Let's get like a nice bluish color. All right, Tabaxis. Tabaxis are usually nomadic and never stay in one place for more than a day. Their agility and clawed hands allow them to traverse most areas with ease, but they are clumsy fighters. Most of the Tabaxi are driven by curiosity rather than desire for wealth or power, and they do not stick to a single goal for long. Usually they are solitary. Tabaxi very rarely form organized colonies with their drifting minded nature typically dissolving the group in a matter of days. God damn. Tabaxis, they always be beefing with each other. All right, let's see him naked. Holy shit, he's actually naked. So what? These guys mine fast, right? Do they have any other special abilities? Danger sense and fall damage notification are granted when at low health. So I don't know if I was reading that for the other ones. I guess we could just look really quickly. Now see the goblins didn't say anything and the Kenku didn't, they didn't say anything like that. But uh, these guys are fast miners, I think. I don't know. I don't remember does it say movement speed they're very yeah they are fast miners a lot of these races are fast miners on to the next we got the dragon kin here dragon kin it's probably gonna be like the coolest to mess with in terms of color give it a nice like orange orange red color here all right damn this dragon looks cool does he wear boxers or is he naked okay he's naked so dragons hailing from a distant land the dragon kin are adapted for much harsher conditions they are well known for their strength and endurance both of which are nearly unmatched the dragon kin are incredibly proud species and can be easy to offend that's like anybody on internet culture nowadays this causes most interactions between an outsider and a dragon kin to go choppily so it says defense and damage increase as you lose health increase regen and mining speed while in sunlight damn so my boy he'd be mining in sunlight okay i see him wow so fast this is probably my favorite looking one so far this one's pretty fire uh let me just put some armor on him just just to see you know maybe maybe i was wrong maybe they do have different armor looks absolutely not you can kind of see like part of the character sticking out in the back but like i said maybe in the future maybe in the future next up we got the merfolk here let's see if we can change anything about them oh yep we can change their colors uh merfolk are usually green in game so let me make mine blue uh let's see the male and female how big of a difference okay i didn't really do this for the other characters my bad i'll do them in a second so we gotta hop in some water but if there isn't water nearby you know we got the emergency water generator look at that perfect the merfolk are a nearly extinct race which used to inhabit a now frozen ocean they possess gills instead of lungs and are nearly unmatched swimmers the technology of merfolk was said to be beyond even that of humans although most of it was lost during the ocean's freezing i really do like the uh the little lore they got here makes the game a lot cooler i'm hoping you know future terraria iterations whatever they do with terraria next whether it's spin-off sequel or even if they do anything with terraria i hope whatever relogic does in the future they have a race system not saying they have to but you know that's one thing about starbound that makes it cool is that there is a race system and all the races have their own unique properties and stuff and uh i'm hoping in the future something like that will happen we'll see i don't know maybe there'll never even be another terraria game but quickly since i didn't check out the uh, other you know the male and female things here you can check it out real quick there you go the tabaxi male and female most of them just kind of change clothes unless they're naked i don't know can you see the female characters naked i guess you can and then let's see the dragon kin here turns from a dress to another dress next up we got the mush folk my favorite by default the male and female don't have a difference okay uh oh this one has a hairstyle hold up did some of the other ones have hairstyles and i just don't know oh my god look at that hairstyle that's a great one. Oh my god this is so cool i don't know if half of these are these are the same some of them look the same but oh my gosh 
Okay, see if we if we see more effort like this around the mod in terms of the armors and stuff, this mod alone just off of details might be amazing. But uh yeah, some of these do look similar to each other. It's honestly hard to tell. Let's go with like well, we gotta be able to see the eye. So let's let's get one that looks funny, but we're we're still able to see the eye. There you go. I guess that works. We also change the hair color. Okay, let's do let's do a, a red mushroom. And then what about the skin color? Oh yes, we can change the skin color too. Let's give him like a blue body red mushroom. This is amazing. What about clothes? Do, do clothes matter at all here? Nope. All right, we are the mushroom man in game. I accidentally threw that. You can still kind of see the eyeball, but let's check out the lore. So it says the origins of the mush folk are incredibly mysterious and they are seldom seen outside of the glowing mushroom fields. It is theorized that they were created by the plane itself to protect it in the absence of the near extinct dryads. Although this is debatable, the mush folk seem to generate a healing aura around them at all times which regenerates the health of anything they are close to very very nice so hold up here if i take out say some lava actually hold up before we take out some lava i'm searching in the wrong area let's see the armor you never know i'm surprised that the hair actually works let's see maybe the armor okay i know his big ass head does not fit in this helmet i just had it i had to test the armor again but let me let me take out a uh, bucket of lava here and just pour it on him and see if i can heal him before he dies mr jack there you go and then if i stand near him he should be healing, right? Well, maybe after he's not on fire anymore. Okay, standing next to him. Doesn't, uh, he's healing slowly, but that might just be natural regen. Next up, we got the Derpkin here. Let's see the difference between male and female. Can't really tell the difference. Any clothes styles? No. Hairstyles? Oh, look, there is hairstyles. So some of them do have hairstyles, which is very, very interesting and unique. So uh, I don't know, just choose a random one. You can also change the color. I don't know, make, uh, make, them, make them black. So they're kind of easy to see. And then what about the skin color? Of course, we could change the skin color. I don't know. Do yellow. All right, here we are. Derpling. Well, I feel fast as hell playing as them. All right, let's read the lore. Close relatives of the more primitive Derpling. The insectoid Derpkin possesses the ability to move at high speeds. Their mobility allows them to travel great distances without tiring, although they seldom leave their jungle environment. The relationship between Derpkin and Derplings can be compared to that of apes and humans, albeit with significantly more malice from both sides. Whoa. So you telling me if I summon in a Derpkin, it would beat my ass right now it's kind of messed up but let's see here we're supposed to have a higher jump height yeah we do and then we're supposed to move very fast which yep we also do we also have auto jump but let me summon in a derpling here see if it'll beat my ass yes next up we have the kobolds let us go ahead and see male and female differences okay we get like a handkerchief i don't know <laughs> hair do we get a hair difference we do get hair differences i don't know why i act surprised every time it's because when i originally tried to see if there was hair differences there wasn't but you know just checking randomly on the mushroom people and there is now i'm very surprised and i still can't tell if some of these are the same or not some of them look the same and they're just repeating over and over again but let's go with that sure i kind of want the horns to be white as possible and then for the skin color i don't know let's, let's do like a let's do like a green we haven't done a green yet i don't think all right we also have clothes on can i take that off yes i can honestly some of these uh races look better without the clothes on and this motherfucker is slow as shit because he's sunlight sensitive kobolds are an adapter for sunlight and become weaker in it find shelter to remove this debuff you got it oh my god they mine fast respectable respectable now i can move normally i think let me see here let me see if it feels normal i guess yeah it does feel normal all right, so the kobolds lore, unmatched at digging and finding ores, kobolds spend the majority of their life underground. They possess an organ with their skull that lets them sniff out nearby minerals and treasures, although the nature of this organ isn't fully understood. Kobolds are heavily adapted for subterranean life, to the point sunlight is physically harmful to them. It is rumored that kobolds were once a colony of dragonkin that became lost underground, although nothing besides their similar appearance suggests it. I can see it. I can see it, honestly. It's kind of like the uh, the snow elves in uh, Skyrim, and I'm assuming that's where the mod creators you know they get they get a little bit of that racial knowledge you know they get a little bit of inspiration from skyrim some of the skyrim stuff or anything that has races in it um because you know that sounds very similar to the falmer and the snow elves in skyrim but who knows so yeah they have a special ability to see ores let me figure out what button that is i made the button O. 
boom look you see when i press it down see how the ore in the left is is glowing but then i let go of it, it's not glowing very nice honestly other than the slowness above ground or in the sunlight that that's a pretty damn good ability to have we are coming down to the last couple of races here and then i'm gonna go through previous races and check if we can change their hair but let's go ahead let's check out skeletons skeletons now i'm assuming we don't have any hair options yep uh what about male female okay just a little skinnier and the skin color we can obviously change let me make like a all white skeleton with like really red eyes something you see like in a halloween store and then the clothes here let's get the clothes that make them look the boniest <laughs> i'm kind of i'm kind of hyped to see him naked in game uh as weird as that sounds all right let's see what he looks like hey look at him old bony head ass i feel taller than the guide but i look shorter in the like preview window but let's get him naked oh yes we got the naked skeleton this is rattles magoo fucking character arc right here we're about to, <laughs> we're about to see his uh lore but let's go ahead let's read about the skeleton lore the skeletons of this world can be reanimated in a var variety of ways the most common practice is to forcibly bind a spirit to a dead body due to the crudeness of the magic involved skeletons reanimated via this process are typically reduced to an animal-like state the ones that manage to retain their sanity after going through reanimation are almost always strong-willed and rarely back down from adversity so that's a that's a nice little piece of lore there makes them sound like they're they're tough they'll beat your ass you see a skeleton walking down the street you look at him the wrong way he's gonna beat your ass last but not least we have the vampires aka the edgy humans i'm assuming all their hairstyles are just pretty much human hairstyles yes they are uh, i mean i guess if we're going with edgy this is as edgy as we can get uh let's see the clothes here skin color like do I, would i even want to change the skin color no we keep it as pasty as possible uh male female variations and then let me see the clothes clothes make a difference this is another one that looks super skinny we'll we'll keep the the dress on i guess boom bada bing i'm burning in sunlight let's get underground real quick there you go no longer burning so let's see what this one looks like naked okay we get the little boxers on according to most human folklore vampires are undead humans that were given some form of unholy power in reality vampires are an entirely separate species they are primarily nocturnal and feed by draining the blood of weaker creatures additionally they are capable of morphing into a bat like state sunlight is incredibly deadly to vampires forcing them into caves and abandoned buildings during the day and then obviously we burn in sunlight and we can become a bat and we also get increased heart pickup range so let me spawn in a heart and let me see if i can pick it up from here boom we got the heart okay this is actually not gonna work how i thought it was gonna work what no there you go that, that's very far it, it showed it off and then we can turn into a bat so let me uh open up the sky here and then let me press the button to turn into a bat it seems like you have to hold the button down which is kind of annoying but let's take flight baby let's take flight so they can fly for a little bit they look cool as hell though yeah we can fly for a little bit and then we start gliding you have to hold down the button though because if i don't hold the button then obviously that happens i just become human again or i just go into the vampire state again but yeah it's pretty cool i have like a natural light source around me when i'm in my bat form which is also pretty cool but there you go there's all the races all the lore in game i guess let's just check out the uh remaining hairstyles that i didn't check on the other ones and then we'll win the video there all right so what characters did i not see hairstyles on i think the the kenku might be one of them let's see no hairstyle here i think this is the original one this and the goblin that i checked and there was nothing uh let's go ahead let's see the uh to tobacco to whatever the fuck this thing is called tabaxi hairstyle here no hairstyle here okay so it kind of makes sense so far that i haven't checked out any uh we got the dragon kin dragon kin i actually expect to have hairstyles yep get the little different horns like i said much like the argonians definitely argonian vibes here and then next up we got the merfolk which should be the last one i don't think they'll have hair but i don't know i guess we'll see no nothing all right so there you go there was the race mod the terraria race mod here now humans actually do have lore so uh, i mean might as well check it out real quick let us see the human lore very small short book believed to have descended from apes humanity has since evolved and gained sentience quickly they are adapted for a plethora of conditions and can survive in almost any given environment there you go that's that's legit that's all but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video shout out mr plague and the others who made this mod very very cool hopefully in the future they added more stuff more races more attention to detail to vanilla stuff like armor because then i think it would be an amazing an amazing mod where you would feel fully immersed playing as different races 
places but they're definitely they definitely have a good start they just keep working from there and it's gonna become amazing definitely can't wait to play or mess around with this in the future possibly i don't know hundred thousand likes and i'll do a series as every race that's a lot of likes <laughs> Or maybe uh, 50,000 likes we do, a, we do a series as Rattles Magoo. I don't know. We'll see. But yeah, thank you guys for watching the video. I don't know if there was a sponsor on this video or not. There probably was. Shout out to them. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.